In this presentation we're going to look at PowerMill 2010 and see how it interfaces through to Vericut 7. This is an example from the PowerMill tutorials. We've seen we've got this deep forging die. We've created a series of toolpaths. We've got a three axis roughing, three axis rest roughing, a steep and shallow here. Then finally we've got a five axis simultaneous toolpath here. Now if we look at the tools that we use that's an example of the tool. The coordinate system called base is this one right underneath here. That's the one we want to locate onto the table in Varicut. So we've also got the concept of different discrete models. We've got here we've got the, the die design which is uh, the block in the middle. I've got two clamps and the mounting plate. And then um, finally we've got the stock model which is the rectangular block. So the work process within PowerMill is to click on the NC Programs group and then we write the NC Programs. So this invokes the post processor and will overwrite the cavity roughing, cavity finishing and the multi-axis finishing programs. So we start the post processor running, now onto the finishing, or three axis finishing that is, that's complete. Then we start doing the five axis simultaneous so these programs have now been created. Toolpaths are ready to go. We start the um, PowerMill interface and I click here, load the project. This is the project, open it. We choose the template, that's the very good machine this is going on. We're going, on, going to be machining this on a Hermley with a Heidenhain control. Then we've got the NC program groups so this is the information that we see here shown in the tree this is now here for us in the NC programs panel and I want to translate all of these to very cut and my attach point um, we can use the default point or we can override this if we want to choose a different uh, different attach point then we've got a series of tools the tools will all be translated then we've got the models um, selector. So we want to translate the model called die design, that's this one here, into the very cut design. Fixtures, I've got two clamps and the mounting plate and then we've got the uh, chance to review this to check the summary. We choose this, the uh, style of g-code offset and just click save very cut project writes the data out of PowerMill ready for Vericut. Vericut is launched. So here we see the NC program. So we've got three, we've got roughing, finishing, multi-axis finishing. I'm just going to start this processing. So there we see the three axis and I'm going to say run till the end of the file increase the speed very cut cut stop model is created for us we just do a single step so we're now into the um, the three axis uh, finishing cavity finishing now we're ready for the third program in the sequence which is the uh, the five axis simultaneous so the cutter is being run around so we're machining this uh, this surface We've got the full machine simulation view, so we're checking for any collisions, crashes, um, any machining problems. And with the toolpath uh, uh, finished, we see we've got no machine uh, collisions, no uh, uh, no machine problems there. So in summary, that's a look at uh, the new power mill to very cut interface. It's a simple dialogue. Um, just move from left to right and click say very good product when you're done.